My name is Richard Lowe, and I'm the senior writer and owner of The Writing King. Today we're going to talk about how to pick something to write about. You see, I get all kinds of letters from people asking me, how do you know so many things to write about? Well, the answer is, there's things all over the world. There's things everywhere. Now let me give you an example. When I was married, I had a stepson, and one day he came to me and said, Dad, I'm bored. I'm so bored, I have no idea what to do. And I looked at him kind of dumbfounded. It's like, we live here in the middle of Los Angeles. That's where I lived at the time. And there's so much things to do. There's arboretums. There's shows. There's art museums. There's all kinds of stuff. There's always talks going on. There's universities and colleges and, and all kinds of things all over the place. And yet here he was bored. Of course, what I knew he was really saying was, Dad, can I have some money? But I didn't fulfill that. What I did instead is pointed out all the things that he could be doing, and he didn't appreciate it. <laughs> but um, the point is, is that as a writer, there are things everywhere. You could look at, say, Donald Trump's daily press conference by his press agent, <clears throat> and you'll find out that there's all kinds of things happening in the world. In fact, I listened to it today, and I found out that there's a device on trucks that is goes into effect at the end of the year that requires truckers to record their mileage and where they are and things like that. And the truckers, some of them like it and some of them don't. Well, what's the story there? Why don't they like this more accurate representation of their time from an electronic device? Doesn't it save them time? Etc. Etc. That would make a great blog on, on that. And then there's other things like um, the art local arboretum. I could go there, take a few pictures, talk about the plants and animals and things like that. That would make a great video blog, or vlog as it's called, which is what this is. There are just so many things in the world. I've got things in my life. When I was a child, I was beat up by a bully, and I handled the bully and finally got him to stop beating me up. How did that happen? That would make a great children's book, how to keep a bully from attacking you and how to get over that. Or from my adulthood, I was the vice president of a company two of them, in fact. And this gives all kinds of hints as to how did I do that? How did I go from being a student in college in 1981 to being a vice president of a company in 1982? That's quite an accomplishment. And I managed a staff of 20 people. I've written about those kind of things actually in some of my books. These are things in my life that I could write about. And you have things in your life too. How did you get hired? How did you feel when the first time you were let go, if you were let go from a job? How did you handle that? Um, you could talk about romance. You could talk about relationships, human rights. There are so many things out there to write about that it's incredible. Now, there's a different question is, what can I write about that other people are interested in? And that's a subject for another podcast. But now we're talking about things to write about. Just open your eyes, look around, take a walk. Write about something. Google something on the internet. You could probably even go on the internet, I haven't done this, but you could probably do this and say, what can I write about? And I'll bet you some stuff would come up. Google is great for that. And just, just get curious and start looking at the world and start looking at your life and your friend's life and your parents' lives and the grandparents and everybody in the world and people from other cultures and people of other races and religions and orientations and all that kind of stuff. There are so many things to write about. And those could become blogs, those could become books, those could become the seeds for fiction stories, those could become all kinds of things. So take off the blinders, go for a walk, look around, read, don't read the newspaper, it's bad. Newspaper's always bad news, I never read newspapers. But watch press conferences, go to talks, just get out in the world, and you'll find plenty to write about. And then don't worry about it, and just write. Later, we'll talk about how to write about things that other people want to hear. But for the moment, that's all you need to know, is there's plenty of things to write about. There's probably more to write about than you could write about in your entire life if you wrote every day 10,000 words a day. So this is Richard Lowe. I'm the Writing King, and thank you for listening to my Writing King podcast.